Shows and Vessels, what's the deal? It's your main man, Drew Tube, and I'm back at you again with another video. I need each and every vessel to hit that like button, hit that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to the Galactic Family, the GCVs, and of course, Drew Nation. Let's get right into it. Do not associate with the friends of the wicked. If you play the fool for them, that's how they're going to treat you. You may at some point in your life have or had felt the pressure to speak to people or be friendly to people. All right. But I'm about to kill that spirit in you right now when it applies to being friendly to the wrong people. You can be you can be someone that does not cause problems for yourself around other people just by not speaking to them and not saying anything to them at all because you don't want to be a fool when it comes to people blatantly ignoring how others are being treated and the treatment that others are doling out because it makes you feel some kind of way if it doesn't then this video is not for you but if you feel some type of way towards people acting like the the acting like those that are being weird to you are good people, then it would only make sense to disassociate from them as well. The friend of your enemy is not your friend, even if they smile in your face and choose to be friendly to you. They could want to have a conversation. They could want to talk. They could want to buddy, buddy, hey, buddy, hey, pal, friend, whatever. Don't associate. It's not wise. I'm not trying to tell you what to do, but it's not wise for you to associate with people who are friends with your enemies. Anything you say to them will be held against you and used against you like you're in court. You have to be careful of who you associate with yourself with when there are people that are your enemies people that just choose to not like you people that choose to have a problem with you don't go associating with people who are friends with the people who are obviously being weird towards you because all that weird stuff you don't want anything to do with that and i'm sure that you don't have anything to do with that Anybody that you separate yourself for, for uh, from for a reason, and people like you know, soon as they soon soon as you step on the scene, they see you, they see that person, they want to be all smile. Oh hi, hey, how are you? How are you doing? Acting like this person is a good person when someone is not a good person, and you know this person is not a good person, so you choose to stay away from them. Anyone that associates with them, choose to stay away from them as well. And I'm not saying be rude, but what I am saying is just don't associate with them. You're not fake. You don't have to be fake. If you want to, you could give them a head nod or you could look at them in the eye. You can acknowledge them, but it doesn't have to go any further than that. Don't allow fake people to slither into your reality. Don't allow, don't let fake people slither into your life. What business does a person who is the friend of your, someone that does not like you, what business do they have coming up and talking to you? You are smart. You know if someone is for you or against you. They all think it's cool to be against you. They want to talk to you as a form of gaslighting. Oh, let's let me just get some energy real quick by talking to this person that uh, the person who I just got done talking to doesn't like. There's no in between. You got to watch people who are friendly and wanting, wanting to be friends with everybody. That's just not a safe or smart thing to do. Do you go have an attitude towards these people? No. Do you give them a little ang angry, ugly look when you see them? No. You're not even worried about them. But the one thing you're not going to do is associate with them. You're not going to waste your real on fake people. 
you're not going to sit there and have a full blown conversation with someone who would stab you in the back or doesn't have your best interest at heart. Someone who's and they, they get a kick out of it because most likely they just got done talking about you behind your back. And now they want to come to you and smile in your face and talk to you like it's all good. Don't give people to uh, don't don't let people do that. Don't give people the authority to, to be like that with you. Don't allow people to have that type of power with you. That power trip. People will do things like that. They'll talk to someone and then walk up to you. Oh, hey, how are you doing? You don't have to deal with that. Good. Hope you're good and keep it moving. If anything. Doing, doing, doing all right. Hope you are too. All right. Talk to you later. That's it. Nothing more than that. It just, just to be cordial and just to, just to keep it on good terms, but you don't stop. You don't stop what you're doing. You don't stop and talk to them. You don't need anything from them. You don't need them for anything. You leave those people be. And you show them that you're not playing around like that. You show them that that's not the type of time that you're on. I'm not going to sit here and talk to someone that would behead me if they had the chance. Doesn't make sense to me. Now, I hope it doesn't make sense to you. Only, only quality people. OQP. Only quality people. OGP, only genuine people, only people who have certain traits, uh, quality, and people that are genuine. You don't, you don't deal with messy people, people that just want to be all up in your business, people that ask too many questions, people that want to start trouble between you and somebody else. And if you, if you end up talking to them long enough, that's, I guarantee you that's what they'll do. Some people like to start trouble and you got to avoid people who like to start trouble. Don't allow people to get you into any mess and don't don't give them anything to be able to put you in any mess. You got to be you got to be allergic to fake people. You got to be a chew. You got to you got to be allergic to fake people. Don't have anything to do with them at all. They have nothing to do with them. Keep keep it short as possible. You don't have to talk to anyone that you don't want to. Don't feel pressured. You're not being a bad person. You are protecting your energy. That's why if it feels conflicting, it feels like you're in a state of conflict because you want to be a good person. But you have to choose wisely who you are that or who, who you who you are that too. You have to be be choose wise who you are like that when you're around people. Because it's it's something in you that it, it, you want to be a good person, but it's also something in you that's telling you don't deal with this person. Keep it moving. That's your intuition. Your ego is like, yo, you need to be good to everybody. You need to be nice to everybody. No, you don't. You're not supposed to don't be rude to people and be kind to people, but you don't have to be nice to everybody. If, 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 your, if your kindness seems distant, distant, it is what it is. If your kindness seems quiet or if your kindness is silent, it is what it is. Some things are, are best left unsaid. And you don't have to go around talking to everyone. Because some people have it out against you. Some people just aren't for you. And that's okay. But you're not going to act like everybody's all cool. Everyone's cool. It's not what time it is. Everyone's not cool. Because you can see it as clear as day. You can see right through people. You know what, what time people are on. You know what's going on. Little shady looks. They, they give out little dark energy that they're moving in you could see it and feel it you wish you wish it wasn't so but it is what it is as they say 
So you have to move accordingly and move wisely. Use your intuition. Trust your gut. Use your discernment. Now's the time to stay to yourself. If someone's supposed to come into your life, you'll know. It'll feel right. You won't have to guess about it. You won't have to think about it. You'll know. It will feel right. And you'll, you'll, you'll know that it's right. It won't be any guessing. It won't be any figuring out like, oh, okay, yeah, I was supposed to meet this person. This person this is someone that I am supposed to be talking to. You could, you could tell a tree by the fruit it bears. And some of these trees out here, they, they're bare, all right. They're just bare, no fruit bearing, just bare trees. So, yo, d disassociate with people you have no business associating with. You don't need anything rubbing off on you. You got to keep your energy positive where it's at. You don't need to be brought down unknowingly. You don't need to be brought down on purpose. You don't need to put yourself around people you have no business being around. And you know there are just some people you have no business being around. Forget being a nice person. That stuff is dead. Being nice means dumb. Don't be nice. Ain't, there's nothing to be nice for or about. You got to watch people who are trying to be nice to you. And you got to watch people who are trying to be friendly to you. There are friendly people and there are good people out there. But they're not going to be associating with people who want to try to stab you in the back. Or people that uh, are, are acting shady. People that are throwing shade on you. Don't associate with the with people who are friends with people who throw shade on you. Because sooner or later, they'll throw shade on you too. They're nothing but a, a flying monkey in disguise. That's all I'm saying. There are good people out here. Generally, most people are good. But you're not supposed to jump in a pit of snakes and trying to sort through it. Okay, this one's got the venom. This one doesn't. It's not wise. You let God bring people into your life. And you stay to yourself until then. Be kind. All right? Don't go around having an attitude towards people. That's not right. Have a right attitude towards yourself, everyone, and everything. So that way you can attract good people. But in certain environments where you already know what time it is, like when you're in a pit and it's full of snakes, you're not going to try to decipher to see which one's venomous and which one's not. You're going to keep it real and keep it to yourself. And keep your energy pure. And keep your spirit right. Keep your mind right. Because yo, the, the, yo, the enemy is lurking to see whom they could kill, steal, and destroy. There's people out here trying to, to devour souls. And that's why you got to move smart. And you got to move accordingly. Evil is tired of hiding. It wants to rear its ugly head. Don't go acting like you, you, you have to be friendly to people who you know deep down inside don't really feel that way towards you. You could tell a, <clears throat> you could tell a tree by the fruit it bears. They want to bear bad fruit, you let them. They want to bear rotten fruit, you let them. But they, you know, as the saying goes, one rotten apple will spoil the bunch. Don't hang around rotten apples. Don't walk in the counsel of the wicked and the ungodly. Don't walk in the counsel of the wicked and don't sit amongst the ungodly.
be ye separate. Come out from amongst them. Those who you can see are spiritually wicked. Who would deal with someone who's spiritually wicked, but a wicked person or a fool? Someone who doesn't know they're about to get burnt. Someone who doesn't know that they're about to get destroyed from being around said individual who got a wicked spirit. Keep your soul clean. Keep your soul clean. You don't have to associate with people just because they're around. Just because you feel it's the right thing to do. Stop being nice. You don't have to be nice. You, you're supposed to be you. If people can't take you or accept you for who you are, then they got to go somewhere and, and find somebody else. People will play with a person and be like, oh, what's wrong with him? What's wrong with her? They play dumb. They play dumb. They could play dumb, but they can't play smart. And you're not going to let them play dumb with you. You're not going to let these people play dumb with you. You don't have, you're not going to dumb yourself down. You're not going to dim your light just because people want to play dumb and act like what's happening and what's going on isn't what's actually taking place and conspiring. Just for the sake of a conversation, just for, for the sake of some go along with the get along, you're going to act like you don't see people got a problem with you. You don't try and act like you don't see these people hate you, have hatred towards you. I know how to act like you don't see it. Stay, stay away from them. <laughs> That's the perfect way to act like you don't see something. Stay away from it. They know what time they're on. I guarantee it. Guarantee you they know how they treat people. They just play dumb. They act like they play like they don't know. I, they act like they don't know. What are you talking about? That's what gaslighting is all about. Playing dumb, playing stupid, acting like you don't know what you just did or what or how you're treating a person, acting like you don't see it so you can continue to do it. Don't get don't be gaslit by the friends of your enemies. That's all I'm saying here. Don't allow the enemy, don't allow the friends of your enemies to gaslight you. You keep making your ways please the Lord. Even though you have enemies, when a man's ways please the Lord, even his enemies will find ways to, to be at peace with him. So you keep working towards a level uh, and a state of mind to where these wicked souls could find a way to have peace with you. From a distance. Do not get near these people. They are not the ones to get close to. Stay to yourself. Stay to yourself. Plain and simple. You know who you know who's good and who's bad. You could tell by the energy. And you don't have to feel like, oh, well, I, this is the manager I have to, or oh, well, this is the boss I have to, or oh, well, this is the employee I have. You don't have to do nothing. God will bless you with something better. If people make it so, <clears throat> if people make it so you don't want to talk to them, that's for a reason. Don't let people don't don't let people toy with you. Don't let people play you for a fool because if you if you play the game back, the fool game, I'll be a fool. That's how they're going to treat you. They're testing you. They want to see how far they can go. They want to see if they can actually treat you like a fool. People who are jealous of other people, there's agendas for people like them. I mean, for, there's a, there's, they have agendas. People who are jealous of others, they have agendas towards you, who they're jealous to. They have an agenda towards you. The agenda is to treat you like a fool. The agenda is to treat you however they want. The agenda is to try to play you. 
And you're not going to let people play games with you in any form or fashion, in any kind of way. Because you're not the one. You're not going to cause any trouble. You're not going to make an issue out of it. You're not going to make it a problem, but you're not going to allow them to make you have any problems just because they have a problem. And that's what time it is. The objective is peace. It's nothing about trying to be no tough guy over here. The objective is peace. We want peace. And we're going to get it. And we're going to be able to have it. And maintain it. A wise man chooses peace. A wise person chooses what's good and what's right. That's what wise people do. The wicked do the opposite. Whatever wicked, unrighteous people do, you do the opposite. You you see someone that is trying to deal with you and at the same time deal with a, a wicked spirit, you don't deal with them. The enemy of the friend of your enemy is your enemy. There's nothing good about someone who associates with someone who you it's well known that you don't like. They both ops. We're not talking about creating problems for ourselves. We want to create peace for ourselves. But anybody that comes up against our peace is an enemy to our peace. And they have to be destroyed in some kind of way, even if it's mentally. Well, you know what? Okay, I'll destroy you in my mind. I won't deal with you, won't talk to you, won't associate with you, nothing. Most you'll get is just a short, tight response, short and sweet. And not and not talking about that sweet. We just talk about in time, just sweet, just short. I meant really ain't going to be nothing sweet about it. But you're you're going to be not giving people an attitude. All right. And I mean, that kind of sounds like a contra, like short and sweet. That sounds that sounds like a I don't I don't I don't know because if you're being short with somebody and I. I but you, you get what I'm saying. That's just me trying to make sense of it real quick. But anyway, don't give people too much time who are associating with the ops. Don't so what why it just doesn't make sense. Just because they're friendly, just because they're trying to be nice, don't feel the pressure to speak to people that aren't who you're supposed to be speaking to. They're trying to weasel their way in. Smile in your face, stab you in the back. Those backstabbers. You know they'll smile in your face. All the while they want to take your place. That's what envy is. That's what jealousy is. That's what hatred is. Don't let people play with you and act like you don't see what you see just because they put a smile on their face. Oh, maybe they're not that bad. Maybe they're all right. No, they're a weasel. They're a snake. They're not real person is being fake with you they're hiding who they really are and who they really are is is the person that they are when they're around those people who are wicked that person who you just saw them talking to that wicked person you just saw them associating themselves with that wicked person that they were all smiles with and then they want to come up to you and be all smiles with you it doesn't work like that not for you You keep a straight face with them. They smile. Don't feel the pressure to smile back. Keep a straight face with them. They're evil. And you they know it and you know it. And you, you stare them right dead in the soul. I know you're evil, but you're not going to be evil towards me. And your evil will have no effect on me because I'm not going to allow it. 
We're about to make start making some other videos soon. But what you need to do when you're looking at these people in the depths of their soul, you need to be communicating to that spirit because you have power and dominion to trample over scorpions and snakes. So when they come up to you and they ah, yeah, want to be all fake and stuff like that, yo, you cast it. You you do your you do your gospel work, and you put the good spell on them, a real good spell on them. You're not gonna you're not gonna operate with me how you think. This is not gonna go how you think. I'm gonna come I'm going to come out triumphant over you and everything you try to do. And that's what we that's what we need to start doing. That's what you start doing. When you when these people come up to you and they want to look at you in the eyes, you send you send that gospel out. You send that good spell out. Right through the power of your very own mind. Because you have the power to do that. It's just it becomes evil when it's used for the purposes of wicked. But that's a whole nother video. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Smash the like button. Smash the share button. And don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to the Galactic Family, the GCVs, and Drew Nation. I'll see you next time. We out.